weekend demanding justice. He was killed during a no-knock police raid, awakened on a couch, holding a handgun that relatives say he owned legally. ABC's Ike Ajaji has the latest. Tonight, new information surrounding the execution of a no-knock warrant that ended in the shooting death of 22-year-old Amir Locke during a Wednesday morning Minneapolis police raid. Body camera footage shows police using a key to enter the apartment where Locke was apparently sleeping. An officer since identified as Mark Hanneman firing at least three shots, killing Locke, who was holding a gun less than 10 seconds after entering. I had to step out of my zone from recording because I feel this should be an outrage, which it is, a protest. So now the police have the right to just enter into your place of resident without a warrant, without even saying that they are the police and come into your resident. 22-year-old boy, young man, 22-year-old young man, laying in his own place of resident with his own protection, gets shot by police. Now, ignore whatever the sound that you hear in the background, but where where are we going? Where Where is... When is enough going to be enough? In Detroit, Detroit police do not have the right to just enter into your home without a warrant. In this case, when you see in this video that the police entered into a home, this young man owned his weapon legally, legally. And he died while he was laying down. If Detroit police was to do that, then there will be a shootout. Because, see, you must have a warrant. You must let it be known that you are the police. This is the same scenario that happened with the brother who was in his place watching TV when a woman police officer entered thinking it was her place, a resident, and killed him. The month of February, Black History Month, and yet crime, that's all you hear, crime, killing. This cannot be allowed any longer. When law become legal where police can just do that, this wasn't a situation that it was people held hostage. This was just a no warrant walk coming to somebody resident. And thank God that this brother gun was legal. But to enter into someone place and they're by themselves and they hear they don't open, they have the right to assume that it is a entering and break where they can fire. You can shoot once a person has entered into your home. It's illegal to shoot outside of your door. We must stand up if laws will be changed. We need to educate besides demonstrate. This young brother was 22 years old, laying down when the police just entered his place and then within seconds, pop, pop, pop. If this become law, then I guess a lot of us who are my skin complexion will be dead males because if you enter into my place of residency without announcing who you are and announcing that you have a warrant, then it will be a scar moment. It will be a, a, a 
retaliation, fire against fire. Justice. Justice. And if you don't stand up for something, then you will always lay down for nothing. I hope that this message get through because if this become law, we are in trouble. But police do not have the right to enter into a home that ended in the with a key death of 22-year-old Amir and you die. during a Wednesday morning Minneapolis police raid. Body camera footage shows police using a key to enter the apartment where Locke was apparently sleeping. An officer since identified as Mark Hanneman firing at least three shots, killing Locke, who was holding a gun less than 10 seconds after entering. Back in November of 2020, city officials restricted the use of no-knock warrants as part of the series of reforms enacted in the wake of the death of George Floyd. But according to the Minneapolis Star Tribune, the practice continued. Court records revealing that police applied for and obtained more than a dozen such warrants since the start of the year. In Locke's case, police insisted a standard search warrant be upgraded to a no-knock warrant. They've so far declined to explain what led to the change. This weekend, the city was full of protesters calling for the mayor and interim police chief to resign and the officer involved to be fired and prosecuted. Locke's family taking part in the demonstrations. How dare you take my son from me and his mother? Now, police say Mark Hanneman has been placed on administrative leave pending an investigation of the incident. And the mayor has now issued a complete moratorium on no-knock warrants while the Minneapolis Police Department undergoes a review led by outside experts. Lindsay? I think.